Release, release, release. Clean release. With one final countdown, the VSS Unity made history, launching into space as Virgin Galactic's first fully crewed spaceflight. On board, two pilots and four mission specialists, including founder Richard Branson, who addressed the public from space. For all you kids down there, I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now, I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Hey! The VSS Unity launched horizontally from Spaceport America. The spacecraft was attached to its mothership VMS Eve at launch, before purposely separating in the air. Branson reflected on the trip following the successful completion of the flight, noting the importance of continuing to explore commercial spaceflight. When you are floating, you're looking out of these giant windows back at this beautiful, beautiful sky, beautiful Earth back down here. And it is, I mean, it is indescribable. The launch is not only good for Virgin Galactic, but it could also brighten the future for Spaceport America, a public investment of about a quarter of a billion dollars by New Mexicans. John Haas is an associate principal engineer at the NASA Engineering and Safety Center, speaking independently, not on behalf of NASA. He noted the optimal location of Spaceport America, even when considering potential launch sites in larger coastal areas. There are spaceports being constructed or, or talked about near oceans. Oceans are convenient. You kind of have a free buffer zone there if you have an accident or if you have a spacecraft that's designed to land in the water. New Mexico doesn't have that issue. There's a lot of land available there which isn't inhabited by people. And so you, you have an opportunity to launch spacecraft from land where the weather is better and more stable. Some critics of commercial spaceflight cite environmental concerns from fuel burned. Haas says that while all spacecrafts have significant environmental impacts, there are currently so few spacecrafts, the impact is minor. He noted future discussion and public debate on the issue will be critical. While Haas says it's too soon to determine if space tourism will be a lucrative business for New Mexico, he emphasized the Virgin Galactic launch is a step toward that future. I think if you look back to the origins of uh, commercial aviation, I mean, we're only about 100 years into this. That took off very quickly once it was demonstrated as safe and effective. I think we're just seeing the very beginnings of that with commercial spaceflight. Increased activity at Spaceport America is something Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima welcomes, saying events like the VSS Unity launch boost economic growth in the region. Today is all the various people from all over the world coming here to get a glimpse of Sir Richard Branson and, and Virgin Galactic and the kickoff of space tourism. So that's huge. If Branson has his way, this flight will only be the beginning of a booming commercial space industry, one he says should be accessible to all. Right now, that's definitely not the case, with flights costing $250,000. Branson is not the only billionaire investing in space travel. Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Tesla's Elon Musk are also independently investing in commercial spaceflight. Bezos, through his company Blue Origin, plans to travel higher than the VSS Unity, crossing the Kármán line, approximately 62 miles above sea level. It's recognized by some internationally as the true start of space, but federal agencies like NASA use a different definition, instead measuring the beginning of space from the 50-mile mark. Branson, who reached an altitude of 53.5 miles, says his mission to space was successful. It really wasn't erased, um, you know, but um, we're, we're just delighted that everything went so fantastically well. We wish Jeff the absolute best uh, and, and his, the people going up with him during his flight. As the future of commercial spaceflight takes shape, NASA Associate Principal Engineer John Haas underscored how the VSS Unity launch embodies the spirit of American entrepreneurship. It's kind of a neat thing to happen in New Mexico. Spaceflight is an inherently risky thing to do, and the key to all of that is to make uh, very informed decisions based on, on your risk. But that's the story of entrepreneurship, right? I mean, that's, that's American entrepreneurship, international entrepreneurship. So uh, in, a, in a way, that's a good thing. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Madison Staten.